Today, let's take a look at a male comet moth. As you may remember last week, we saw the female and there are some pretty significant differences that make them both unique and amazing. First of all, you will notice his size. This male is enormous. You can see he takes up my hand and my wrist. And right now he is in a defensive posture as he isn't sure if I'm there to eat him. But let's take a closer look at his face for he is quite adorable and has those huge antenna common in male silk moths to pick up the scent of the females. Their yellow wings are miraculous and held out flat like this, they are really something to behold. If you ever get the chance to see these in person, I highly recommend you do so, as it is something you will not soon forget. This species has a very long timeline from egg to adult. Being native to Madagascar, they have lots of time in the rainy season to grow and develop, and getting this large takes time. The eggs alone are double or triple the size of your average silk moth and take nearly twice as long to hatch, averaging around three weeks. Then the larvae, or caterpillars, will feed for nearly four months before spinning their cocoons. Once they have cocooned, they can develop and emerge in a few weeks, or if the dry season has arrived, they will delay emergence until the next rains come. They do not have a true diapause, but they can suspend development until conditions are more suitable. Rearing in captivity requires the conditions of the rainy season, heat and humidity. Here I have a female, so you can appreciate the difference in shape and size. The male is quite a bit longer and has more pointed, slanted wings. Being nocturnal, they are typically cooperative being handled in the daytime, providing you are gentle. This male measures at about seven inches in wingspan and eight inches from head to tails. It's nearly impossible to get a close up of the entire body at one time due to the sheer size. Their faces are especially cute, and the bee-striped stockings on their furry legs are one of my very favorite decorative touches. Here again, you can see the female and male side by side. They are quite easy to tell apart. And just so you can again see a good representation of size, here is my hand next to the female, who is about the size of my whole hand, and the male over here, who is actually a bit longer and wider. So as you can see, moths are not nearly as boring and dreary as they're thought to be. There are so many remarkable species out there to appreciate and discover. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing so I can share more of these gorgeous creatures as they come along. Thanks for watching.